Hi YouTube and welcome to this session of Primavera training. In this video I will uh, continue talking about dynamics of project tracking and how to enter progress and actuals for activities and at the end I will talk about uh, defining autocompute actuals. Back uh, to our project in the Gantt chart view we can see yellow bars as the baseline so this is a tracking Gantt chart that we are looking at as you can see there is uh, currently no slippage or variance uh, for our activities and yellow bars are perfectly aligned with uh, the main uh, Gantt chart bars because we haven't um, defined actuals yet in the first uh, step um, we need to select um, progress spotlight in the menu bar and uh, select the data date for our project which we want to uh, track uh, our project uh, at this uh, data date you can uh, drag to the right and uh, select uh, the portion of the project that you want to be uh, tracked those activities uh, falling uh, entirely in the yellow zone have been uh, started and already finished uh, those on the right hand side they haven't been started and uh, obviously they haven't been finished we have a few activities in the middle uh, and they are cut by this uh, data date so they have been started but not finished yet so we need to go to status uh, tab in the details uh, layout to uh, define uh, a start uh, status and finish for different activities I uh, will uh, start by selecting uh, the first yellow highlighted activity which is a milestone if I check uh, started uh, box uh, finish box is automatically selected because the duration is zero for every milestone you can also change uh, the status of uh, resources which uh, obviously uh, we don't have for this milestone and also expenses if necessary the second uh, highlighted activity is again a milestone in the status tab if we select started finished is automatically uh, selected the next activity is entirely in the yellow zone so we can uh, select the status as started and uh, it uh, has also been finished we have been on time so I uh, should select not to change any of the values the next ac activity and again entirely in uh, the yellow zone so it has been started and it has been finished but in uh, executing this activity we have experienced some delays so let's uh, delay the finish date by a week so select uh, one week later as the finishing date you can also change the resources and update um, any uh, resources that uh, have been uh, used for example as you can see this uh, a labor resource we have eight hours per day for 120 uh, laborers the actual uh, units can be defined in here so we have um, used all the resources so the remaining resources will be zero for this activity the same story for expenses and if you want to add any expense you can do that so the next activity it is in the gray area half of it is highlighted and half is in the uh, 
write part of the data date so it has been started but not finished yet you should define this in the status tab I should select started but not uh, finished yet so that's that next activity same story it is uh, in between uh, the highlighted and non highlighted zone so uh, started by some delay uh, let's say four or five days and uh, it hasn't been finished so you can go to uh, the resources tab and update uh, your resources the laborer again eight hours per day each unit and we have 240 of them uh, so far uh, assume that we have used 80 units uh, so the remaining units will be 240 minus 80 which is 160 so now we have um, updated the status and entered actual for uh, our um, activities we should update uh, start and finish um, in the status tab and also uh, resources tab and expenses can be updated so now we are ready to uh, schedule our project we can turn off this uh, progress spotlight and go to uh, schedule uh, icon uh, starting uh, scheduling of our uh, project the data date uh, can be selected and uh, whatever date is suitable you can uh, select we always log to a file and also you can browse to define a location for saving this file very important because you can check the warnings and see if there is any problem in scheduling so let's uh, schedule our project uh, as you can see now uh, we have some uh, slippage or variance uh, for our um, activities this is the progress line and we can turn it off or turn it on if it is to the left side of the blue vertical line which is data date it shows that we have some delays and if it is to the right part it shows some um, good progress and we are ahead of our schedule so uh, the variances can also be seen uh, in the left hand side um, as you can see for the project uh, uh, we can have uh, a look on the variance uh, baseline uh, finish date and for the whole project we have 42 days of delay this is because of delaying very first activities in the project and the cascading effect uh, is transferred and transmitted to all uh, activities of the project so we have uh, uh, this situation at the moment and uh, the actuals are entered for our uh, project so the slippage can be seen in here some of the blue uh, bars are to the left of the actual activities and it shows we are uh, behind the schedule the situation then can be improved by crashing the project and uh, assigning new resources or over time uh, Another important thing I want to mention is about auto computing actuals for non labor resources. So, if we go to resource uh, page, here is the list of resources for our current project. As you can see, many of them are labor type, but uh, we have bricks in here, which is a material. Uh, I can use this option in Primavera P6 by uh, going to a detailed tab of resource page and in the right hand side we have auto compute actuals selecting this option enables us to 
have um, auto com automatic computation of actuals for non-material resources and it saves time because we need we don't need to change um, values for material resources one by one the next step is to go to tools and uh, we can select uh, apply actuals again the data date is uh, or can be selected in here and then we apply it and select yes uh, the project actual is now updated remember to use this option only for non-material resources because uh, for labor resources it has some unexpected uh, consequences and you need to manually uh, update the actual values for uh, labor resources thanks for watching this video we talked about uh, entering progress and actual for each activity and using the auto compute actual option in Primo Vero P6 in uh, the future videos I will uh, uh, continue the training session uh, please uh, like this video and uh, subscribe to my video uh, channel on YouTube for updated weekly videos on engineering and project management. Thanks for watching.